The Texas Tech Red Raiders take on the Kansas Jayhawks. 2 p.m. Eastern tip-off at the Allen Fieldhouse. Kansas is minus one and a half on their home court. Totals 133 and a hook. And if you like the Texas Tech Red Raiders in a slight upset on the road here, they're plus a dollar on the money line. Now we're 3-0 in our last three NBA tier package picks on my website. We're also 2-0 in our last two board member tier package picks on that same website as well. Texas Tech is coming off a double-digit loss to West Virginia in their most recent outing. The Red Raiders have also failed to cover the point spread in five out of their last six ball games. Texas Tech is allowing their opponents to make 44% of their three-pointers when they travel. They've also dropped eight out of their last 10 head-to-head meetings with Kansas. And speaking of the Jayhawks, they're currently on a four-game winning streak, 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six. The Jayhawks are winning 91% of their games at home this season, and they give up just 64 points per contest at the Allen Fieldhouse. O'Shea Abaji is scoring nearly 14 points a game for Kansas, along with three rebounds. Meanwhile, 6'10 forward David McCormick is also scoring over a dozen a game himself, along with six boards and 23 total blocks. Kansas averages 76 points a night on their home court. And when it comes to the total on this one, the Jayhawks saw three out of their last five ball games get over the number, 60% to the over in their last 10. Meanwhile, Texas Tech is 2-0 to the over in their last couple of games themselves, 70% to the over in their last 10 as well. I'm going to lean toward the Kansas Jayhawks, minus one and a half in the over 133 and a hook. Next contest, we're going to stay in the the uh, Big 12, I'm talking about West Virginia versus Texas, 3 p.m. East. The Texas Longhorns are minus two and a half at home, numbers 146. And if you like the Mountaineers in an upset on the road here, they're plus a buck and a quarter for some money line cash. Now, West Virginia is coming fresh off a one-point loss to Oklahoma in their last outing. The Mountaineers have also failed to cover the point spread in three out of their last five. West Virginia gives up 72 points a game when they travel. They failed to cover the number in seven out of their last 10 head-to-head meetings with the Longhorns. And speaking of Texas, they're on a two-game winning streak themselves. 68 per, uh, I'm sorry, 68 points a game they give up on their home court. Andrew Jones is scoring nearly 16 points a game for Texas. Four rebounds, two assists for the 6-4 guard. Meanwhile, Courtney Ramey is scoring over 13 a game himself, along with three boards and four assists. Ramey's also making 41% of his three-pointers. Texas is scoring nearly 77 points a game at the Irwin Center. And when it comes to the total on this one, Texas is 8-2 and two to the over in their last 10, 7-4 and four to the over at home. Meanwhile, West Virginia is 6-1 and one to the over as the official road team. Give me the Texas Longhorns minus 2.5. In the over 146. Next matchup. It is going to be uh, in the Pac-12. If I can find it here. There we go. Arizona, USC. 6 p.m. Eastern start time. The USC Trojans are minus 5.5. Totals 140 even. USC is on a 7-game winning streak. 6-1 and one against the number in those 7. USC is in the top 15 in the country in offensive rebounding, top 10 in defensive field goal percentage. Evan Mobley, uh, Evan Mobley scoring 17, uh, nearly 17, uh, nearly 17 points a night, 20 steals, 66 total blocks. Meanwhile, senior guard Taj Eady is averaging 13 a game, two rebounds, couple assists. The Trojans are allowing just 63 points a game. They're taking on a sputtering Arizona club who lost their last two straight and also dropped four out of their last five. The Wildcats are giving up 74 points a night on the road, and they failed to cover the point spread in six out of their last nine contests. Now, total-wise, five out of Arizona's last eight road games got over the line. USC's gone 7-3 and three to the over in their last 10. Give me the USC Trojans minus 5.5 in the over 140. Next contest. Louisville, UNC, 6 p.m. Eastern tip-off in Chapel Hill. The UNC Tar Heels are minus six with a total at 141.5. North Carolina's dropped two out of their last four ball games. 
And they find themselves making just 25% of their three-pointers at home. The Tar Heels are also making just 42% of their field goals at home, and they've covered the number in just 40% of their ball games overall for the season. Now they're taking on a Louisville squad who's won seven out of their last ten themselves, and they hold their opponents to just 40% shooting from the field. Carly Jones is scoring over 17 points a game along with five rebounds and four assists. Meanwhile, David Johnson scoring over 13 points a game along with six boards and three assists as well. The cards allow just 64 points per contest. When it comes to the total on this one, Louisville saw their last three straight all stay under the number, 60% to the under in their last 10. Meanwhile, UNC saw seven out of their last 10 meetings, with the Cardinals stay under the line themselves, 60% to the under for the entire season. I'm going to lean toward the underdog Louisville Cardinals, plus six, and the under 141 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. It's going to be all the way on the West Coast. Talking about Arizona State versus UCLA, 10 p.m. Eastern start time. The Bruins of UCLA are minus 7.5, totals 145 juice to the over. UCLA is a perfect 10-0 straight up on their home court, 70% against the number in those 10 victories. Johnny Juzang is scoring 13 points a game along with four rebounds and 91% shooting from the stripe. Meanwhile, Jaime Jaquez is scoring a dozen a game himself along with six boards. The Bruins allow just 63 points a game on their home court. They're taking on an Arizona State team who lost seven out of their last 10. And they covered the number in just 20% of those ball games. Now, the Sun Devils are giving up over 77 points a night, and they've been victorious in only seven of 17 ball games overall for the season. Now, total wise, Arizona State is 2 0 to the over in their past couple of games, uh, 60% to the over in their last 10. Meanwhile, UCLA saw seven out of their last 10 meetings with the Sun Devils get over the line as well. I'm going to lean toward the UCLA Bruins, minus seven and a half and the over 145. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap. Give me Kansas, minus one and a half, over 133 and a hook. Texas, minus two and a half, over 146. USC, minus five and a half, over 140. Louisville, plus six, under 141 and a half. Before I give you my next and final matchup for the show, one final reminder that we are 3-0 and in our last three NBA tier package picks on my website. We're also 2-0 and in our last two board member tier package picks on that same site as well. I'm going to lean toward the UCLA Bruins, minus 7.5 and, and the over 145. And one more reminder here, guys, that the content on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. We don't make guarantees of any kind and with that guys uh we're gonna dive into some shout outs to our top 10 youtube commenters over the past couple of days or so shout out to mitchell peters milwaukee boy simon says stony boy ryan mikulski hip-hop connoisseur shout out to v rudy dory toast bradley bent and last but certainly not least gotta give a shout out to my man jay holmes all right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Saturday to you. Best of luck to you. And have yourself a good one now.